Johnny Mosley here from Peter Glenn Ski and Sports, hanging out uh, with the Heli Hansen guys. This is my friend Brady. Hey, Brady. How's it going? Have been getting any skiing in this no. year? Ooh, got a good day at Deer Valley a couple days ago. Oh, nice. Little sleeper powder day, skied out Lady Morgan Bowl. It was real nice. Oh, good, oh, good, yeah. good. How good. about you? Uh, yeah, I've been having some some really good days. I just got three days in a row at Palisade Tahoe. Maybe a couple of the best days of like for, it, for it, it a long time. <laughs> like deep. I mean, just total Palisade people. Uh, you've seen, you've, yeah. you've, you've been watching. Oh the yeah. Videos. You guys have a bunch of kids on Helly Hansen there. Oh yeah. So uh, they're rocking. Actually, I was rocking Helly. I was rocking the the Heather Ice. Actually. Oh, love it. And uh, people did not recognize me because that's a very youthful kid. Oh, I love you it. You know what I mean? But, Such uh, a cool kid. Yeah, yeah, it is a cool kid. All right. Um, Brady knows all about skiing and obviously the heli stuff, and so he's going to bring us inside this Garibaldi, these two Garibaldi jackets, and uh, two really cool, interesting fabric stories. So, because that's the hard part when you're at home looking online, it's hard to feel and touch the fabrics. Totally. And they do have very different sort of, uh, uh, very subtle changes that probably don't come through on the screen, but make a big difference. You know, if you yep. ski a lot, like. The way a fabric feels, the way it moves and crunches and sounds, totally, it's important. So. Yeah, um, some of this is performance based, some of it's style based with this. So we've got the Garibaldi Infinity here and the Garibaldi 2.0. Uh, Peter Glenn has both of these and I want to talk a little bit about what the difference is between that. So Garibaldi Infinity, aptly named because it uses our Leaf Infinity uh, face fabric and with that what we've got here is a membrane that does not require chemicals to be waterproof breathable. Typically, to make a waterproof breathable membrane, you have to give a solvent bath. Mm. Solvent's not great for the environment. And with that, that's what creates the pore structure in the membrane. So what makes it breathable? Allows okay. your moisture vapor or sweat to get out. Really? So, so the way that we get that. around that yeah. is we use a polypropylene-based membrane. We're one of the only ones to do it. We actually heat it, stretch it, fold it back over, extrusion process repeatedly. Wow. And that creates the pore structure without needing any solvents or anything like that. Okay. Creates a very highly effective membrane. It has extremely high waterproofing and breathability. Yeah. But then also, we've uh, uh, with the Infinity uh, fabrication here, we've done that with a recycled face fabric as well and achieved really high standards on that. Okay. So okay. this is one like of our sustainability standards. And both sustainability and performance. Oh, and We're not performance. sacrificing between either. Okay, okay, okay. Because okay. it's sustainable does not mean it actually goes down. This is what's typically chosen as one of our top pieces by people who are going to be out in the, out in the elements the longest. Okay. So this one is super highly effective for that. Okay. And it's done in a lightly insulated format with the Garibaldi here. Nice four pocket design. Yeah, when you say lightly insulated, because when I talk about yeah. that, obviously a lot of our customers are concerned with being too cold, too warm. Absolutely. So lightly is maybe in the 40, 30, something like yeah, that. Yeah, 40 to 60 gram area is what I consider to be a lightly insulated piece. Okay. Anything 80, 100 and up is going gonna, is gonna to be in that warm territory. Yeah. This is going to be in that nice kind of Goldilocks point for those people that want a little bit of warmth or in a colder area perhaps mm -hmm. or run a little bit cold and then want something that's going to keep them just a little bit lightly insulated. And, and it's also designed, this is a free ride collection, yeah. so it's also designed to have you can wear something a little bit more Don't. robust. And Absolutely. Yeah. A little bit more longer tailored silhouette as you're seeing on the mannequin here. Drops a little bit lower. We even do the drop pockets on the pants to correspond with it. Yeah. Uh, this one is going to be the Garibaldi 2.0 and if you actually get in really close to the fabric, this is going to be a matte fabric face on the Infinity. This is going to be a melange fabric. So this yeah. is still Helitech Professional. Oh yeah, because this is really kind of almost soft. Yeah. And this, this has... Well, it's really soft too. It has a texture though, yeah, just a little bit of a texture. texture yeah. So it's a little bit of a style play on this one where you can get a juxtaposition between the two. Mm -hmm. And love how this turns out. It changes the color just a little bit, catches the light a little bit differently, brings a little bit of black in with this midnight colorway. Yeah, that's so cool. That What do you call it? Midnight. Yeah, that's a very cool color. So otherwise, it's going to have the same amount of insulation here, just a different fa uh, face fabric execution, and that's the main difference between these two. Both are outstanding pieces, super high waterproofing and breathability. This just carries that Leaf Infinity technology, yeah. whereas this is going to be on the end of that melange finish face fabric. Okay, got it, got it. Very cool. Yep. Excellent. Yeah, those look like... It's what's what I like about what you guys do is it's changing every year, but it's very subtle. Absolutely. You're not just like slapping different colors or you know, making big, big, huge changes, which you do sometimes. Mm -hmm. But even just like the little fabric changes, very Absolutely. subtle. Because it actually looks... What's cool about it is it looks like almost like your your high crazy patrol gear mm -hmm. that's all rough and you know, oh absolutely more utilitarian. The, yeah, yeah, the problem with that utilitarian stuff is it's also utilitarian. Yeah, like you, you got to break it in, yeah. you know. But that's kind of has that look, but it's already good to go. Absolutely, like it's soft and feels. 
All right, great stuff from Ellie this year. Good job, Ray. Hey, absolutely. You've been hard at work. Yeah, I see you haven't been. <laughs> I you can't have, take you, all the credit. You haven't, been, you haven't right. been skiing enough. I see. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Johnny Mosley with Brady here for Peter Glenn Skiing Sports, trying to give you guys a little inside look at all the new tech uh, so that you're ready to go. When you hit the slopes, you don't want to even have to think about it. You want to be dry, warm, having a good time, throwing back some hot toddies. <laughs> Let's go do that. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right, have a great winter.